Welcome back, everybody, to the House of Cards. We are on episode number 80. Holy moly. And we are back with another Monday mailbag for you all. It's a really good one this week. We got a great selection of, um, you know, older basketball all the way up to modern football and everything in between with soccer and baseball and all the good stuff. So buckle in, get ready for a good mailbag. And before we jump in, you know the routine. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button. Also, please drop comments below. Um, let me know about my pickups. Did I get you know, skunked on anything? Am I, you know, way overvaluing certain cards? You know, did I underpay for things and got a steal? Love to hear your comments below because that really is a fun part of the uh, the engagement for me. And also, again, at the end of the video, if you happen to like what you saw and you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. That'd be awesome. All right. Now that all the pleasantries are done, let's jump into the mailbag and away we go. All right. This one looks like it's going to be a challenge. This one's from Hong Kong. Yeah. China. I definitely did not buy a match attacks box. <laughs> not my cup of tea, but. I have no clue what is in here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, all right. <laughs> so this is a um, WCCF set, um, which is, um, kind of a TCG uh, soccer set from, uh, um, this is a Chinese or Japanese, Japanese version. So um, yeah, really cool set. They came out pretty much every year since the early 2000s. And inside this little box here, there's a bunch of packs and each pack I think has like one card per pack. It's kind of tedious to open these things. But um, this year's um, 1718 and this has um, Mbappe, you know, quote unquote rookies in here. Um, I think Sancho also. Anyways, just some pretty, pretty key players in here. So I picked this up um, to uh, to rip and to uh, hopefully get some uh, some good cards. So. Um, I've ripped one box of this before. Didn't get too much in it. I think, uh, yeah, I didn't get Sancho or Mbappe. So hopefully this round I'll get uh, get a little bit of a better pool. But yeah, these are fun. You get, I picked these up for you know pretty pretty cheap. You know, so um, yeah, keep an eye out for these if you're interested. There's all different years you can find. Most of the key players have. Sometimes their very first you know kind of cards that they have are WCCF cards. So. Sometimes it's fun to uh, get the, get in, you know, the kind of like XRC sort of card of a player that you might like. All right, let's jump into this one. Uh, it's time to switch the scissors. So I got, I bought this card, speculating a little bit on a young rookie, Chavi Simons. Um, oh, it does have pretty bad damage. Yeah, the listing said it had a little bit of damage and it does right up there. It's hard to see in here, but um, I got it for a decent price. Probably shouldn't have bought it. I, I honestly didn't notice the damage. Um, mention until after I bid on it so I was like oh man yeah it's pretty significant damage so this one just might go in the old in the old box or maybe I'll put it out like a super discount at a sh show I deal out or something but uh Chavi is pretty uh, pretty hyped right now so um if you don't know you know he's he's on PSG he's you know he's he's I would say he's kind of in the same realm of not quite like Pedri, maybe like a Kareem Aliami or, you know, one of those guys where 
pretty, you know, super young, got a lot of hype. This is from the new Merlin set. So this is a refractor, um, Tops Merlin, but he does have a, oh God, actually this might be his only card right now. I think this actually might be his only card. So I think that's also why his, um, stuff is so hot right now or this set is so hot right now is because he's in this set and this is the first set he's in so anyways um kind of a cool pickup i'll hopefully i'll pick up one that's not damaged next time <laughs> but uh anyways uh cool chavi simons here all right the dealer did list that was damaged so it was completely my fault i was just I was probably up at 2 a.m. browsing eBay like I do sometimes and half asleep is always not a good mix. <laughs> Lack of sleep and spending money is not a good mix. But um, but yeah, it did say, it totally said it on the listing and I just didn't even pay attention. I was like, oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> so, I know that's happened to others before, so I know I'm not the only one that's accidentally bought something that you shouldn't have, especially when it's something that's not in good condition. All right, there we go. Yeah, this one I'm really excited about. So, <laughs> what a great picture. I mean, about to just pound that guy. Um, so this is a John Jones um, UFC Finest card. So this is from 2000, is it 11? Okay, so 2011, so super early. I think his, I think his first card was 2010, I believe. It might've been 09, I gotta double check, but. Um, John Jones, you know, one of the, one of the goats of UFC, lightweight, you know, I mean, light heavyweight, sorry. Um, he's definitely probably going to fight again here in the near future. Um, so I just figured, you know, his, um, other auto, which I think was his first auto goes for thousands of dollars. So I got this one for a pretty good price. You know, it's on card, you know, kind of checks all those boxes off that you want, you know, it's just a beautiful, nice tops finest card. So. Yeah, really cool. The auto looked pretty good. Looks pretty uh, bold and sharp. So, yeah, man, just kind of that UFC stuff, you know. And I, and I recommend if you guys collect UFC and or just started getting into UFC because you know it came out in Prism and now Select and you know probably come out in Optic here soon. Just you know look at the older stuff, guys. Don't get just caught up on all the new stuff. Like the older stuff is where the history is, you know, and it's it's where the very first true cards are for a lot of these guys because you know there's not too many like ufc rookies in 2021 that are like worth collecting at this point right you want to collect the goats right you know so you know connor you know is back in like 20 i think his first card was 2014 um you know all of the other you know very first cards were in 2009 in the very first top set so i mean you know dig back a little bit learn a little bit more about the history of the ufc cards and you know you'll find some real gems i do think that eventually you know people are gonna start looking at the original stuff because you know the 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 you know while the prism stuff is cool and all it has the flash and the you know the hoopla around it it's definitely not you know as <laughs> there's no real like rookies in there i mean there's maybe a couple you can kind of you know slap a rookie lahar logo on but for the most part if you want like true early stuff i mean this is 2011 so this is 10 years you know go and you know this is probably his first or second year card so anyways just my kind of word to the wise i would say if you're into ufc study the old stuff find the old stuff because you're going to be a lot happier down the road when you know um, all those things start popping off because you know the, the the good thing about the prism is that it brought a lot of people to start collecting ufc so now as people start collecting ufc they're gonna start turning their attention to other ufc stuff after you know they kind of get satisfied with the the prism run and then it's gonna be like oh what else is there you know and then i'm gonna start going back so anyways there's my psa for the day all right all right very cool so just kind of an, another uh Zion, I mean, he's so cheap right now. I just, it's almost criminal, like how cheap his cards have gotten. So, um, I got this in a BGS. I, it didn't have subgrades, which I don't love, but you know, it was a, it was a really fair price, and you know, I like the purple parallel on this. Um, I've owned one of these before. Don't have that one anymore, but um, yeah, I mean, it looked like a pretty clean 9.5. So, you know, if I look harder at it here. I'll probably, you know, decide whether to keep it in here or I'm probably going to regrade it one way or the other just because I think you don't really want, a, you know, a BGS slab without subgrades. It's just kind of, you know, 
not the move. You're gonna lose about 10, 15% in value just because you don't have subgrades. So I'm definitely gonna get this regraded, whether it's with BGS or PSA is the question. Um, obviously the pricing, you know, I'm not gonna pay $200 to grade this card, but you know, if they come out with a lower level, like 75 or something like that, then I might use that for PSA. But I gotta inspect it, make sure it's worthy of sitting the PSA, cause I don't wanna, you know, crack it out with 9.5, then it ends up getting a nine or something. It just doesn't make sense. But if it's a 9.5 here, I gotta assume I can send it back to BGS and then get subgrades added to it for, and get hopefully get the same grade, but then have subgrades. So it's actually a true, uh, you know, uh, sought after grade. But anyways, pretty cool Zion purple. Nice stuff. All right, let's start with this box. There's an easy way to open these fire ray boxes, but I forget how. <laughs> there, that looks good. We'll just rip it open. The end of all style. Alright. Very well packaged. Thank you. I think this is a graded card, feels like. Let's see here. Bath and body works thing. <laughs> All right, cool, I know what this is. So, I think I got this just for a steal. Um, I'm always looking to buy rust stuff, you know, the lower, lower population, top chrome stuff, usually the numbered stuff or the colored stuff. And I had an X Fractor. Um, I ended up moving it a while ago, so I wanted to get back into one, but I um, really wanted like a, per, a ten. And the prices for the PSA 10s are astronomical. I think they're over $1,000 right now. Um, but I got into this SGC one, you know, I see the price up on the screen there. So I mean, it's like, it like half price of what you would get, um, you know, a PSA 10 for. So I felt like this is a great, great uh, move. You know, SGC is, you know, slowly getting a little bit more hobby love as they're kind of the only ones doing business right now, more or less at a decent rate. Um, so I just thought this was made total sense. Um, got it for a good price. The seller negotiated down with me on his original price by like 20, 25%. So yeah, I'm really happy with this card. So I'm gonna probably keep this in a PC unless, you know, I just get some great offer for it, which, you know, you never know how things go. But uh, yeah, that was a nice one to have. Definitely a, a good pickup for sure. All right, feels like another slab. Yeah, I'm buying a few slabs. That's right. So I actually ended up getting, which I'm not sure why he shipped these separately. I actually ended up getting both these from the same seller. So we kind of did a a deal. Yeah, I don't know why he's sent them separately. Really weird. But anyways, um, so this is a Jordan 88 clear. So, you know, 86 was the, it, the big rookie, right? So 87 and 88. So this being his, you know, third year, essentially, card. Um, I actually had one of these recently. I got back from PSA and I ended up selling it. Um, actually, you know, trading it in the trade deal at um, the last uh, show that I was a dealer at. So I kind of want to get back into one because I didn't really... You know, I'll, I just wanted to have one in my collection, and I think eights are great value right now. You know, you can get them for a decent price, so I felt like, you know, it was a, it was a good move to get back into one. I got it actually lower than what I sold mine at, which was awesome. So, um, great copy here. It's pretty, the centering is decent on it. Definitely, you know, top to bottom's off a little bit, left to right slightly off, but ultimately, I mean, it's super sharp corners. You know, surface looks perfect. So, um, just nice copy to have, you know, Michael Jordan, early stuff, you can't go wrong. It's kind of, you know, blue chip card that's always gonna, you know, um, probably gain value over the years as, you know, uh, less and less of these are available. So yeah, just a um, nice pickup here for the price I paid. Felt like I got a really good price and happy to have one back in my collection. <laughs>
it's always fun when you can sell something and then rebuy it at a lower price, you know, kind of makes you feel, uh, makes you feel good. And it's not like the values have gone down. They, you know, this is only like a few weeks ago, so it wasn't like, you know, last year or something. The values are pretty much the same, if not might have ticked up a, a smidge. There it is. I ah, will rip it open like a, like a monster here. All right. I've known people are getting a lot better at shipping too, I gotta say. Outside of the occasional like random soccer or sticker or whatever I get from Europe, you know, I think Americans are getting really good. Like you see painter's tape now. If you watch my early videos, it was like one in like five packages would be properly packaged. But I think now that people have kind of been in the hobby for a while, and I've sort of started learning, you know, the ways. Uh, it's definitely gotten better. All right, cool. So this is a um, early Brady card I got into here. You guys, if you guys know me, I've been, you know, I'm always looking for kind of early Brady stuff. You know, not necessarily going after all his like big, big cards, but these these little kind of micro transactions. You know, you 50, 100 bucks, whatever, early stuff. You get it grade and you get it back in a in a nice grade. I mean, you're turning a huge profit on these because people really just want early Brady just graded you know cards so um, you know don't get caught up in too much of like the weird random sets and stuff like that like you know there's a lot of like kind of funky stuff in like 2002 2003 2004 you know that are just like these really off-brand sort of you know I mean it might be made by tops but it's like one of those weird top sets that were only around for like one year or something you know there's just not much demand for those anymore so you know try to stick to sets that are you know pretty established so this one is Bowman's Best which is obviously a very established set still going strong today so just a nice looking car I like the look of it it has like that cool you know kind of hollow foil got a nice little kind of embossed like I don't know what that is like a football helmet in the background I'm not sure but anyways I looked at the pictures it looks really clean in the pictures and in hand right now just looking at it it looks pretty clean so yeah I mean again turning this uh, what I paid you know and then if you check like graded you know sales of this it's it's astronomical so um, word to the wise that's a nice kind of investment tip if you're looking to do some flips and stuff you can get something like this even grade it, you know, even just throw an SGC for now or, you know, wait till PSA comes out with something like around a hundred dollar submission level, even though the card is about the same price as submission level, it's going to, you're going to you know, sell it. If it comes back at 10, of course, you know, you can sell it for, you know, 10 times what you paid for it. So, um, I, I, I recommend. All right. Cool. So picked up another Rust Prism. Thought this one looked pretty decent as far as uh, I could tell from the photos, of course. <laughs> you never know until you get it in hand how it actually is gonna look, but the centering looked fairly good. And yeah, it looks good in person too. You know, that's kind of the only kind of obvious thing you can look at in pictures of centering. So I'm um, gonna check this surface out, see how that looks. But you know, I do already have this in 10 but I wanted to um, have one to, to uh, possibly, you know, use for trade or sell, and then keep one for my PC. So I decided to pick one more up. Still got it at a really reasonable rate. Um, so nice little Russ 2012 Prism. All right, here's a package from Com C. So I got a few cards shipped back from them recently. They're getting a lot better on their turnaround times, I must add, because before it was pretty brutal how long things took. It was taking like a month and a half to get it after you ordered it, which is not good. All right. I think there should be three cards in total here. All right. So the first one here is this nice uh, Ronaldo press proof from the 18 Donra set, which I definitely like uh, there it is so this one particularly I like because it has the color match to um, his jersey which is always a nice touch Jeez Louise what is going on here here it is <laughs> on the wrong side that's by why there we go gosh so much 
packaging involved in these. Oh, there we go. Hey, you get a free top loader though. That's nice, right? Brand new. All right, so yeah, so you see that nice color match on the jersey. I think it looks really attractive. So um, definitely like this card. And yeah, it looks pretty good in hand. I'll have to take a look, but the centering looks pretty spot on. Yeah, I can see this doing fairly well at grading. I gotta inspect the surface, of course, but um, yeah, so there's that. And then this package contains two more cards. So I got a Jared Kelnick, and this is just the paper Bowman, the first. I know the paper is not as sought after as the chrome, but the price is so much easier to swallow on the paper. Sometimes I just go for it because I just rather not pay $500 for an unproven prospect in the chrome version. Because, yeah, in the blue chrome, this would be probably around that. Probably about $500 raw. <laughs> anyway, so there's that numbered out of 250 So nice uh, Kellenick. He's starting to turn the corner, which I'm very happy about because. Oh man, I was getting worried for the first few months there when he just kept getting, just striking out like crazy. Got sent back down, called him back up recently. He's been playing a lot better. He's hit a few home runs and starting to look like the guy that everyone thought. All right, speaking of speculating on unproven people, here is a Jacob Eason. Uh, this is Immaculate uh, 2020, right? Yeah, 2020 Immaculate. Um, I forget what they call this specific um, variation, but it's a... That's an auto. God, there's like a cool name for it. What is it called? Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, it's uh, numbered out of 57. 57, sorry. There it is. And on, nice on card auto. It's kind of, I think it's silhouettes, maybe. I think that's right. I don't know. Anyways, so after Carson Wentz went down, I think a lot of people kind of jumped on Jacob Eason, myself included, just thinking that there might be a play there for, at least for the first uh, couple games of the season where, you know, maybe there's a, a quick flip or something involved where you can, you know, swing this card, make a little profit, and then when Wentz comes back, then, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, knowing Wentz and how injury prone he is, there, <laughs> there could be a chance that, you know, Eason could play a lot more this season than uh, people are anticipating right now. So I, I definitely like uh, at least having one, you know, nice Eason card in my collection just in case he ends up becoming the man. And you never know. It could be just, you know, who knows? Same thing happened with um, um, Justin Herbert last year, right? You know, got hurt. Uh, the, the starter got hurt. Next thing you know, Herbert's in there. He's playing great. And that's, you know, that's, that's history right there. So anyways, anything can happen, of course. But I thought this is a nice pickup for, you know, a fairly decent price for a really nice card like this. So nice Jacob Eason Auto Immaculate. All right. There you have it. What'd you think? I thought I did pretty well this week, but I like to hear what you have to say. If you could drop a comment below and, you know, maybe uh, pick out a card or two that you uh, thought uh, was a good pickup and something that you might have uh, grabbed yourself. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, now's your chance. And again, if you got this far and you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one. And until then, peace.